What's up, world? It's Dr. Doodaro. I'm being gross. I'm playing with bugs. This is a colony of dubian and roaches. I use these to feed my man Charlie. So I took out all the furniture I had for him. Shook them all off in here to see how many he has so far. Ooh, look, I got an albino one. Ooh, no, you don't. I'm gonna get y'all out, so I'm sorry. So I'll also do is go through and take out all the dead guys. Taking up space. This little substrate decomposes most of them. I got it from, uh, his name is the bio dude. So a lot of the dead ones will probably already be decayed away. I'm taking the dead ones out because that's gross. They cause them bacteria. They gonna get everybody sick. It's like a dead dude down your house. You don't wanna live with a dead dude. It's gonna get gross and stink. They don't wanna live with their dead homies neither. Substrate, it's a little dry too. So I'm gonna add some water. If you try and breed them like I'm breeding them, you wanna keep it nice and humid. You blow less than 60%. For them to survive, you don't want it to get less than 40%. Clearly, I'm breeding them. That's how I ended up with albino. We looking good. I'm gonna add some water to my substrate. Get that moisture back up, get the humidity back up in here. Good thing about these guys, if they do get out, they won't infest in my house. They'll probably just die in the corner somewhere. Some people like egg cartons. I like these paper towel rolls because they hide inside. You just shake them and dump them out. As opposed to egg cartons, you gotta get all in the cracks and dig them out. It's irritating. But I still give them a couple. You know, I like to give them their variety. Let them choose the life they wanna live. Probably a bit much, but I got big dreams to have a tank full of them. And the more spaces they got to hide, less stressed out they are, the more likely they are to breed. Is this a baby? Oh, baby. Hey, have it up. See you later. All right, y'all. Enjoy life. Ooh, got a little bit of food back in there. That's all right. Better find a way. Also, I want to keep a dish full of at least This is hydro low gel. Or you can just give a dish full of water. Just give them some type of water access. Keep that somewhere in there. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of food. Pretty much feed them anything. I have some um, collard greens from Charmander's diet. I got some lettuce. You just mix it around. I got a pepper they can munch on. Yeah, they, they like that, but oh, there you go, buddy. Let them find that and get on on that. Just spread the food around the tank. Give them their options, they'll find everything they need. Close up. Keep this at the bottom so I can get an accurate reading. This is my humidity, my digital hydrometer. I want to get an accurate reading at the bottom of the, the substrate's humidity. So I put it at the bottom. Put my heat source back there so they can get keep the keep the temperature high. You want to keep it about 70 to 90 degrees. Create kind of like a tropical environment as if you got like a tropical desert. And this is Charmander's dinner for life. Y'all know the vibes. Like and subscribe.